One of the most insane YouTube beefs that I ever covered was probably the SS Sniper Wolf Jax Films debacle, where because Jax Films, who's an OG YouTuber, made a video series criticizing Sniper Wolf and her content, as she's one of the biggest YouTubers on the platform and does very little to credit creators that she reacts to, and her overall content is just not great, and he basically highlighted that in his video series, and this resulted in Sniper Wolf getting so mad and angry that she drove to Jax Films' house and recorded her doing so and posted it on Instagram completely doxing this entire guy, putting his safety at risk. Now, overnight, this story went completely viral. Loads of YouTubers were talking about it, and it got so big that it actually warranted a reaction from YouTube, as people were basically pushing to have her punished in some way, because you can't, you can't just show up to the dude's house because he made fun of you on the internet. YouTube responded to this by temporarily suspending monetization on Sniper Wolf's channel, meaning she was not able to make money for a certain period of time until the situation was resolved. Now, Sniper Wolf doxing Jax Films created a substantial domino effect to where after everyone was talking about how horrible it was that she had doxed Jax Films, a whole new wave of controversy was headed her way as people began to talk about all sorts of other aspects of her career that were controversial in some way or another. A bunch of old, really weird clips resurfaced of her talking to minors on Omegle where she would basically encourage these people that she was talking to on Omegle to either remove clothing or, or do something weird or, or sexual like twerk. Now, despite that being super weird to record and upload on YouTube, the most most disturbing part of this is that she obviously never asked for the age of any of the people that she was doing this to, which is a big no-no. Now, obviously, the YouTube landscape was drastically different back when this took place. I think this was like 10 or, or 12 years old clips. Oh, shit. No, go, no, go, get on. Stay on. Whoa! What are you doing? No! Uh, no. Go, you stupid janitor fa- Homosexual. But I'm of the opinion that asking random strangers on the internet to twerk or take off clothes, it's not the sort of thing you can justify by saying, whoa, it was a different time period back then. You know, things were different. In order for the quote, things were different back then argument to work, things actually had to be different. I don't think what she was doing was acceptable back then. I just don't think she was nearly as famous and YouTube was way smaller. So more or less, people just didn't know about it. The things were different back then argument only worked when you're justifying like, uh, I don't know, an off-color joke, or if you were like promoting something that at the time you thought it was good. And then besides those clips getting leaked, there's also the old drama that people forgot about where she literally ghosted a dying fan with cancer. That's totally real, and that is one of the most egregious things she's ever done. If you guys don't remember this, I think back in 2021, it came out that Sniper Wolf had been reached out to by a mother of a fan. And this mother had told her like, hey, you know, my daughter watches your videos and we would love to have a FaceTime with you. She's currently getting treated for cancer and she likes your videos. If you could just carve out five to ten minutes and just hop on a call and just say hi to my daughter, she would greatly appreciate that. Who's your favorite person you follow on TikTok? Sniper Wolf. She's like a really big YouTuber. <laughs> Who's nice. that? Sniper Wolf. You, you don't know, know about her. We gotta oh, show you. Yeah. You gotta put, you gotta put me on. Oh. <laughs> I'll call the Sniper Wolf thing for you. That's crazy. I'm gonna try to get in touch with her. I know some people who know her, so hopefully we can make it happen. Wait, really? Sniper Wolf literally kept saying like, oh yeah, I'll do it. She's like, oh, I'm so down. Let's do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow rolls around. Uh, she can't do it. Let's do the day after. Can't do it. Let's do it the day after. And like, I don't know how to explain this to somebody as thick headed as Sniper Wolf, but when someone has cancer, you know, you can't really procrastinate doing something for them. How do I say this? Time's ticking. And one other big topic of discussion that started after the Sniper Wolf doxing situation was based on this video made by Nerd City talking about all of Sniper Wolf's past controversies, her presence on YouTube, etc. It was kind of like a content cop. But the main focus of the video is how Sniper Wolf's entire brand is actually ripped off of another YouTuber named Azzyland. This ranges from the titles and thumbnails of her videos to even really weird things like copying her Toronto accent, copying the types of clothes she wears, copying mannerisms, really weird parasocial stuff going on with that. Now, this bombshell dropped four months ago. It absolutely blew up, getting 1.5 million views on his channel channel, and four days ago, he actually released another video about Sniper Wolf that I do think will be blowing up again pretty soon, as it is an hour long and details some even more crazy things, some kept secrets about Sniper Wolf that I think you guys are going to want to hear about. Okay, so this video is called When Sniper Wolf Loses, This Happens, Narcissism Explained. Now, if you haven't yet seen the video, I would highly recommend going to check it out. It's a really well-made video. Nerd City always delivers like a pregnant woman, okay? He's good. He's good at what he does. It's high-quality stuff. 
Now in the video, a main portion of the video, a large part of the video is dedicated to talking about Sniper Wolf potentially being a narcissist. Now that word I feel like has, to me at least, lost a lot of meaning because I I've, I keep hearing it kind of like the word dopamine. Like I hear the word dopamine so much. Like, oh, uh, TikTok is cheap dopamine. It's, do it's frying your dopamine. Dopamine detox, dopamine this, dopamine that. And I'm just like, like that's a chemical in your brain and people use it so willy nilly as if it's this thing that they understand. Like I feel like it, like most of the people that say the word dopamine have no idea what it means in the same way that I feel like a lot of people who use the word narcissist have no idea what it means either. Like th if someone is confident, they're a narcissist. If someone talks over you when you're speaking, they're a narcissist. There's a lot of self-diagnosing, overuse of the word to the point where it kind of loses meaning. But a large part of the video is going into the characteristics of what makes a narcissist, referring to doctors and experts and what, you know, the consensus is about narcissism. Nerd basically makes the case that Sniper Wolf has a lot of qualities and a lot of traits of somebody who would have NPD, narcissistic personality disorder. Now, ultimately, do I think that Sniper Wolf is a narcissist? I have no idea. I mean, genuinely, I haven't done the research, so I can't say yes or no. And also, who cares what I think? I mean, like, I don't need to care if she's a narcissist or not to know that she's kind of like a piece of crap. I mean, I don't need someone to know. I don't need to know if someone's a narcissist to know that they're like a doxer or, you know, that they did the thing with the minors on Omega or they ghosted a fan dying of cancer. You know what I mean? Like the narcissist to me with, with Sniper Wolf it would be kind of down the grocery list in terms of importance, like maybe maybe toward the bottom. But in my opinion, one of the most important things discussed in this video is Sniper Wolf's rage. She gets very angry when she gets angry. She's like the Incredible Hulk, but instead of growing in size and becoming a force to be reckoned with, she just kind of like screams and uh, apparently gets into fights with people. Nah, I'm not joking. That's sort of the big thing is that uh, apparently Sniper Wolf had actually assaulted Azuland. Now, look, I mean, I wasn't there, so I'm not going to say definitively like, oh, this 100% happened, but Azuland's testimony on the Nerd City video recently dives into a pretty detailed explanation of how Sniper Wolf had attacked her at some event or party. They were like in a circle and I was walking, I walked in the bathroom and then when I was walking back, I saw them and they were like, Hey, Ozzy. And even go, and then I was like, Sniper was there. And I'm like, oh, you know what? Just, just be nice. They just walk over. And then I go into the, in there and I got really awkward. So I started like just say, telling an embarrassing story of myself. And uh, she just like is looking at me. She's silent and she's like, like angry. And then she like lunges at me. And I don't remember like exact details because it was just fucking terrifying. Got in between and like pulled her off me. And then they took her back into the room and then I was out there and they were like, what the f was that? <laughs> it was just like, it was so, oh yeah, she was like, oh yeah, she was she screaming at me. She's like, a bunch of words I can't actually say on YouTube. But the one sentence I can say is she goes, you fake your game plan and then charges towards me swinging. This is an Azzyland only channel from now on. Sniper Wolf is no longer my best friend. Azzyland is my best friend. Leah had to be physically pulled off of Azra and was dragged away screaming and clawing. Now, honestly, like I know the whole innocent until proven guilty thing still stands. So I, I'm going to say allegedly, but I will say, especially with the track record that Sniper Wolf has, would anybody, anybody at all be surprised if this was uh, something that she did? I mean, she literally doxed Jack's films, drove to his house, right? She was probably going to assault Jack's films. You know, she ghosted the dying time with cancer. I, I could literally just say everything she's done and I could add, hey, assaulted Azuland and no one would be shocked. That'd be the part where they're like, okay, yeah, continue. Although I really like the Nerd City video, there's a few parts of it that I think are just reaching pretty hard. I mean, for example, he uses clips of her raging at video games to prove that she has like some crazy narcissistic personality disorder because people with narcissism, they can't accept losing. So they get really angry when they lose. But like, I feel like a lot of people are like that. You know what I mean? Like, you know, people rage quit at Fortnite. They break the controller when they are hiding underneath the staircase and then someone 200 pumps them. It's like, you know, I'd be mad too. You know, I've rage quit a lot of times at video games. And you know, I just don't know if using Sniper Wolf, for example, a clip that he uses, she rages that she got eaten in a gario. I don't know if that's the best clip to use to prove the point that she's like unhinged, you know? I mean, a lot of people have raged at a gario. Especially using clips of her raging at Call of Duty and a gario to prove the same point that the clip of Azuland explaining her getting assaulted proves. Like, I just don't know if it's necessary. Another thing this video focuses on, which I kind of thought everyone knew by now, is that Sniper Wolf fakes her gameplay. In case you didn't know, Sniper Wolf used to go by the name Sexy Sexy Sniper, where she would play 
Call of Duty. Well, she didn't actually play Call of Duty. That's sort of where I'm hinting at. But yeah, she'd post videos of her playing Call of Duty. And you know, it was the whole the whole appeal was like, oh, it's the early internet. We have a girl playing video games. This is revolutionary. You know, like kind of the first of its kind. The first gamer girl to be on YouTube sort of thing. Well, people realized, I think forever ago at this point, that it wasn't actually her playing the video games, but rather her boyfriend would record footage of him playing the video game. And he would send her the footage and she would just overlay her face cam reacting to the footage as if she was playing it. So it was it was kind of genius if we're being honest. Like this dude knew his girlfriend was attractive and he knew that he played video games and he was like, well, I have this attractive girlfriend and I play video games. How do I make money playing video games and how do I get my girl famous at the same time? And he kind of cracked the code. And side note, by the way, I don't want to be mean, but like this guy kind of single-handedly proves that looks maxing doesn't need to take place in order for you to win at life. Okay, I'm not saying he won at life by dating Sniper Wolf, but point being like, yeah, like she's kind of, how do I say this, out of his league by miles. Like this guy looks like he drinks bacon milkshakes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and somehow he was able to pull the gamer girl that millions were simping for. You know what? Maybe he was actually skinny when they met. Like he was in great shape, he was lean, had a six pack, and due to Sniper Wolf being Sniper Wolf, causing him immense stress, he coped with eating large portions of fast food, and eventually after months and months of having to deal with the Sniper Wolf stress, he became morbidly obese like the next glob gob gab galab. Anyway, that's a side note, but uh, just to wrap it up, the two of them did get divorced, I believe, and a big part of their divorce actually ended pretty messily with a lawsuit. Uh-oh, Sniper Wolf in lawsuit, that's not good. Sniper Wolf has never been known to deal with criticism well, so how do you imagine she's gonna deal with a lawsuit? Now, what is the lawsuit about? I have no idea. I literally don't know anything about the lawsuit, and I have no intention to read the lawsuit, okay? My last name isn't Goodman, and my first name isn't Saul, so you better not call me, and you better not make me read any stupid lawsuit. I'm not reading the Sniper Wolf lawsuit. I have better things to do. I'm gonna crack open Diary of a Wimpy Kid Dog Days and read that from cover to cover before I read Sniper Wolf's lawsuit, okay? Now, this might be bad because I haven't read the lawsuit, but I don't care. I hope Sniper Wolf loses. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe she actually deserves to win the lawsuit, but, you know, looking at her track record, I'm gonna go off on a whim and say, hey, maybe she should take the L on this one. Speaking of taking the L, before we wrap up this video, have you guys seen that horrific video of Sniper Wolf performing Fortnite dances? What a horrid monstrosity of an MP4. This one should have been deleted, and the hard drive that it was recorded on needs to be extinguished in flames. Like, how does she move like that? Like, what on earth? Dude, I get that your audience is gamer guys who have never had their Johnson stroked, but this is, uh, this might be the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Anyway, I'll give you five minutes to go bleach your eyes, but in the meantime, I'm gonna say thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're at all new to the channel. Follow my social medias, links are all down below, and we are on the road to 500,000 subscribers, so if you could subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that, and take care, y'all.